Number 12. Giant Long-Legged Katie Did The Giant Long-Legged Katie Did, or just the Giant Katie Did for short, is one of the strangest bugs ever. It is the largest species of Katie Did in the entire world, and kind of looks like an enormous, completely green grasshopper. In fact, they are closely related to grasshoppers, so that explains their similarities. However, the Giant Katie Did has super long antenna, and their wings look like leaves. This makes them stand out against the typical brown grasshopper, which has short antenna and wings folded over its back. You can find the giant Katie did doing nothing in the daytime, as through most of the daylight hours they remain completely motionless, using their camouflage to avoid predators. They live in the forested mountain ranges of tropical Malaysia, and are basically invisible amongst the canopies of green leaves. At night though, the giant Katie did uses its super long antenna to find leaves and small insects to eat, and to try and find a mate. You can hear the males at night making high-pitched noises as they try to signal a female. Number 11. Thorn Bug The thorn bug literally looks like a thorn. It looks like the spike from a rose bush or the spine of a thistle plant. It doesn't even look like this strange bug has a face or legs. It straight up just looks like a thorn, but it's pretty good camouflage, as thorn bugs are super tricky for birds or larger bugs to eat. Nobody wants to bite down on a nail, and that's what trying to eat a thorn bug would be like. There are a lot of different types of thorn bugs, but they all share the same features. They all have a giant thorn thing on their back. They are also widely distributed throughout the entire world, living on every continent except for Antarctica. What's really strange is when you see an entire group of thorn bugs covering a branch. They make the branch look like it's growing dozens and dozens of spikes, and this helps the entire group to remain safe from predators. It also stops birds from landing on the branch, as it appears that the branch is riddled with spikes. Number 10. Hercules Beetle The Hercules Beetle doesn't even look like it belongs on this planet. According to the Biology Dictionary, this enormous insect is one of the largest beetles in the world. It's easily recognised by its long pincers and massive body. The Hercules Beetle is a type of rhinoceros beetle, all of which are armoured monsters known for their brute strength. But while most rhinoceros beetles can only lift around 30 times their own body mass, the Hercules Beetle can carry an outstanding 850 times its own mass. Crunch those numbers and the Hercules Beetle becomes the strongest living thing on the planet. Imagine if you weighed 150 pounds and could carry 127 500 pounds on your back. Do you understand why it's called the Hercules Beetle now? Putting their ridiculous strength aside, Hercules Beetles are also famous for the way they fight. They use their massive pincers to battle each other to try and claim a female. Because male Hercules beetles are attracted both chemically and audibly to females, a single lady beetle will often draw a whole herd of male Hercules beetles, who will then battle each other for the right to breed. Whoever said the animal kingdom isn't romantic? Number 9. Devil's Flower Mantis The Devil's Flower Mantis is one of the most legendary species of mantis. It has an amazing colour scheme that makes it look like a dried out leaf when it's young, but then brightens into shades of green and white once in adulthood. This mantis is also ridiculously huge. I mean, it's not the size of a dog or anything, but it's pretty sizeable when you look at other types of mantis. This particular species lives in Africa and mostly in Tanzania. There is no denying these are some of the creepiest and strangest insects in the world. Each one has a big shield on its back, four long and skinny legs, and the two long arms that makes the mantis so infamous for their kung fu skills. But other than the way it looks, there isn't really that much extraordinary about the Devil's Flower Mantis. They are extremely expensive, and they are one of the most favourite exotic insect pets. They are difficult to breed, they can grow to be around 10cm tall, and unless you already knew it was there, you'd never find it in the wild. Have you ever seen a praying mantis in person? Have you ever held one? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing animal videos, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Number 8. Panda Ant Who doesn't want to hug a panda bear? They are black, white and cuddly all over. But what about the panda ant? It's furry too, right? But this little critter is actually a wasp. And you shouldn't touch a wasp, probably ever if you can help it. While the male panda ant has wings and looks a lot more like our notion of a wasp, the female does not have wings, looks just like a little itty bitty furry panda, and has a nasty stinger that can send you skipping away in horrible agony. Its other nickname is Cow Killer, but its sting isn't the deadliest or the most painful, which just goes to show how extreme they can be. Native to South America, they are parasitic and belong to a family of wasps known as Multilidae. 
There are around 7,000 of them whose females resemble large, furry ants. Also known as velvet ants, they can be found in all kinds of colours, and while they are pretty and very interesting, you should stay clear from this creepy, deceiving wasp. Number 7. Giant Waterbug The giant waterbug is creepy, strange, ugly, and absolutely fascinating. The North American species of giant waterbug can grow to be around 2.5 inches in length. However, South American giant waterbugs can grow to be a full 4 inches in length. Everything in the jungle is always bigger, but what makes the giant waterbug so strange is the way it carries its eggs. They typically live just below the surface of lakes and ponds, where they are known to nibble on the toes of unsuspecting swimmers. But if you were to look down and see the giant waterbug with all of the eggs growing out of its back, you would be absolutely disgusted. Or fascinated. I suppose it depends who you are. You see, the female waterbug will deposit her eggs on the back of her mate. The male waterbug will then care for the eggs for a full two weeks while they come to term on its back. During those two weeks, the male waterbug must protect the eggs from predators and keep them healthy. Basically, the female dumps the babies with the father and then runs away and leaves him to do all the work. Number 6. Australian Walking Stick the Australian walking stick actually looks a lot like the devil's flower mantis, but in a way, it's even stranger. For those who don't know, walking sticks are all native to Australia. They are all herbivores, and they all look super similar to praying mantises. However, they are not even a little bit related. According to the Oregon Zoo, the biggest difference is that mantises are carnivores and will eat other insects, and walking sticks are herbivores and will only eat leaves. The Australian walking stick lives in eucalyptus trees and eats their leaves. They are indistinguishable from sticks, which is obviously where they get their name. And males are able to fly, but females are not. Females still have wings, but their wings don't actually work. You might say they got a pretty bum deal. An interesting fact is that females can lay up to 200 eggs over a period of just a few months. But this is an important ability considering the lifespan of an Australian walking stick is only between 10 and 12 months. Number 5. Kalita Silk Moth Caterpillar the Kalita silk moth caterpillar is native to the southwest of the United States, where it feeds almost entirely on purple sage. They operate pretty much the same as any other caterpillar, and that in itself is enough to earn them a place on the list of strangest bugs. When they are born, they are tiny little black insects, just a few millimeters long and completely black. However, as they grow, they begin to change color. The silk moth caterpillar will first turn yellow and eventually become a very dark green as they get fatter and fatter in preparation for doing what caterpillars do best, metamorphosis. These particular caterpillars will begin to make a silk cocoon amidst the leaves that it enjoys eating. After hanging out in the cocoon for a little while, the Kalita silk moth caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar, but a beautiful black and green silk moth with fantastic colours and patterns and a pair of impressive wings. The whole transformation from tiny black caterpillar to a fat green caterpillar and finally to a huge silk moth is strange and captivating in its complexity. Number 4. Giant Wetter The Giant Wetter is arguably the worst bug on the planet. It's definitely earned itself the title of the ugliest. According to Science Magazine, New Zealand has more than 80 different species of wetter insects, but the Giant Wetter is the biggest and the ugliest. In fact, Weta in the indigenous language of the Maori means God of Ugly Things, so you can imagine how terrible this pesky bug really is. The story of the giant Weta goes back 65 million years. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, small furry creatures began to explode all over the planet. However, because New Zealand had split away from other land masses 15 million years before the extinction, they ended up without any mammals except for a single bat. This caused biodiversity to take an entirely different form. Without mammalian predators, flightless birds and insects were able to expand dramatically. This is how the giant wetter came to be such a dominant creature on the island. There are 11 species of giant wetter in New Zealand. Basically, instead of rats, cats and other predatory animals, these gross insects just kept getting bigger and bigger without anything to challenge them. Number 3. Leaf Hopper the leafhopper is definitely one unique insect. You can find leafhoppers hanging out on all kinds of different plants. They are an invasive species that inadvertently destroys plant life by sucking sap out of the plants they live on, destroying chlorophyll, transmitting diseases, and eventually curling leaves. Whichever plant the leafhopper decides to live on inevitably takes on quite a bit of damage. Though not from a single leafhopper, it takes a whole gang of them to make a plant wither. There are a few different types of leafhoppers, and they are all specific to what kind of plants they hang out on. For example, the apple leafhopper does some serious damage to apple foliage by making it pale and speckled with white spots. 
Then there is the beet leaf hopper, which is a carrier of a viral disease that curls sugar beet leaves and stunts the growth of the plant. Also, a beet leaf hopper is able to infect tomato, cucumber, spinach and other types of garden variety plants. Basically, for every plant there is a leaf hopper, and each leaf hopper is evolved to destroy its particular plant. According to Britannica, the grape leaf hopper eats developing leaves on grapevines in Virginia creepers, while the potato leaf hopper causes potato leaves to turn brown and curl. Number 2. Filbert Weevil Weevils are pretty freaky bugs. The immediate thing that stands out with a filbert weevil is its super long snout, properly referred to as a rostrum. Weevils are part of the largest beetle family in the world, with over 45,000 different living species. That means that weevils are the biggest and most widely spread family in the animal kingdom. Most weevils just look like generic insects, but the one thing they all have in common is their weird eyeballs. Each kind of weevil has a shiny pair of dark black eyes that are unmistakable. No matter how different their bodies are built, or how differently coloured they are, they all have the same black eyes. But perhaps the strangest weevil of all is the filbert weevil, which is a pest of oak trees. There is nothing overly special about the filbert weevil, other than its super long nose. It does basically the same thing other weevils do, which is damage plants that humans like. Aside from the filbert weevil, the most famous weevil is named the boll weevil, and it absolutely loves ruining cotton crops. Number 1. Bullet Ant Known as the world's most painful insect, getting bitten by a bullet ant is something you never want to experience. Native to the rainforests of Central and South America, the small but powerful bullet ant is also known as the Homiga 24, meaning the 24-hour ant, which refers to the full day of pain that follows after being stung. Only a little over an inch in length, it is hard to believe that their sting can feel like getting shot with a bullet. Why is this necessary? Why does the ant cause so much pain? Dr. Justin Schmidt, an entomologist and research director of the Southwest Biological Institute in Tuscan, Arizona, invented the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, which categorizes the level of pain felt when stung by wasps, bees, and ants. He let himself get stung by all kinds of insects in order to rate their sting. He said that it really felt like getting hit by a bullet with waves of burning pain that were absolutely excruciating and went on for hours. The good thing is that it is a localised effect and this sting does not directly affect your heart or lungs, so you won't die from it, but it will hurt like a biatch. These ants are greatly feared across the rainforest by people and animals alike. However, there are several indigenous tribes that use these ants in their initiation rituals. Young boys wishing to be seen as men by the tribes must endure placing their hand in a woven glove filled with these ants. They must endure getting stung repeatedly for at least 10 minutes. If that wasn't enough, the boy must sometimes go through over a dozen of these rituals. None of them suffer long-term effects, although the trauma may last forever. Number 8. Chinese Crocodile Lizard there are only about a thousand Chinese crocodile lizards left in the world today, and that's a shame because they are remarkable creatures. First off, this thing is a dead ringer for Godzilla, but they named it the crocodile lizard because its tail bears two long rows of scales, making it look like its tail should belong to a crocodile. But they are nowhere near as big. They make it to around 18 inches long. You can only find them in a couple of parts of China and Vietnam. These guys are really good at swimming. Their living situation reflects that. They set up house on top of branches that extend over rivers, giving them the ability to jump in at a moment's notice if they start to feel threatened. They're more likely to do that than to get into a fight. However, if they are caught, they will enter a violent struggle, defecating, whistling, and biting to free themselves from their predator. They've been perfecting their lifestyle for over 100 million years. They're the only surviving member of both their family and genus, which extends back to long before the dinosaurs left the earth. They often enter a metabolic state, remain motionless, and don't respond to any stimulus for several hours to conserve their heat energy, especially when the temperature drops. Because of this unique behavior, this reptile is known as the Great Sleepy Lizard, which has led to the belief that the Chinese crocodile lizards can cure insomnia. Sadly, even though they've been around for so long, we don't know a lot about them. It's probably because there's so few of them left, and over the past 40 years, they've become even less numerous. Their habitats are slowly but surely being destroyed, and the ones that remain are traded as pets because they're worth a lot of money. Number 7. Mary River Turtle 
the Mary River turtle has been heavily traded, which led to its declining numbers, but some have a quite distinctive appearance. No, that's not a teenager going through a punk phase, but this turtle does have a straight up green mohawk growing atop its head. There are even a few sprouts of green growing out from its face. That's not the turtle's hair, but rather algae growing all over its head. It's kind of like a turtle wig, which earns it a spot on this list. Even though they have mouths, that's not what they're breathing from. Instead, they use an eccentric method of respiration. They breathe through the air in their butts. That's right, they breathe through their butts. More specifically, they breathe through their cloaca, which is an organ located in their behind that operates as their go-to for most of their bathroom and reproductive duties. This breathing mechanism is what enables them to stay in the water for up to three days. It's like some weird superpower, being able to breathe underwater, but only with your butt. That's very weird. Although it was only studied in a scientific setting in 1994, it had been traded as a pet for 20 years prior. It's also incredibly unique. It's the sole member of its genus, and it's been around for approximately 40 million years. They aren't capable of reproduction until they're 25 years old. Sadly, their numbers are declining because of pet trading practices, as well as the construction of dams. Luckily, wildlife conservationists are keeping an eye out on this turtle, so there is some hope. Would you like to look like this turtle? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 6. The Chinese Alligator The Chinese alligator is the only alligator that lives outside of the American continent. Of course, we all know about the American alligators, but you might be surprised to realize that there's a Chinese variant as well, and they've been around for quite a while. Some people even think that the Chinese alligator is part of what inspired the development of the mythical Chinese dragon, which permeates Chinese culture to this day. These alligators are typically smaller than their American counterparts, and they are nowhere near as obvious as them either, as they live in a network underground, which enables them to thrive in areas with water, even those near urban spots. This gator split from its American alligator cousin about 40 million years ago, when each of them diverged from the rest of the animal kingdom after the dinosaurs went extinct. There are only a mere 100 members of this species still living in the world. Almost all of their habitats have been taken over, giving them very few places in the world to live. For a long time, they were also hunted, but that has recently stopped. Thankfully, there are efforts in place to keep this alligator on the planet. Their habitats are being revitalized and breeding is currently taking place, so they might restore to greater numbers yet. Number 5. Psychedelic Rock Gecko Scientists think that there are only about 500 psychedelic rock geckos left in the world. And that's quite a shame, because these creatures are some of the most dazzling reptiles on the planet. As their name would indicate, psychedelic rock geckos are brightly colored and speckled with fascinating features. For instance, all of its limbs are colored with a loud orange. This could make one think that this little reptile is wearing orange boots, and its purple body and yellow-green head are also pretty magnificent. It looks more like it belongs on a psychedelic album cover than in the wild, and in fact, there are only two places in the world where you can find this gecko, on the Hong Kanai Island in South Vietnam and the Hong Tuan Island. Their habitats are 5 square miles and 984 square feet, respectively, and that's the total amount of space in which they live. Even though they were only discovered in 2010, they've been widely trafficked for their distinctive features. This has brought their population down to a mere 500, and they haven't been investigated all that much, but captive breeding efforts are in place. We do know that both the males and females exhibit this bright coloration scheme as well as the youth of the species. They like to hang out in the sun rather than remain deep inside of rocks like other lizards. We can only hope that these lizards continue to populate the world because they undoubtedly make it a more interesting place. And now for number four. But first, do you think this reptile with its orange boots is adorable? Let me know in the comments below. Number four, Madagascar Blind Snake. The Madagascar Blind Snake is one strange snake. Throughout its evolution, it stopped being able to see through its eyes. Like other blind snakes, its eyes are actually located beneath the scales on its head. They're also incredibly tiny, 
They're approximately the size of your average earthworm. Not only that, but they also have pink skin. Strange to think that this is a snake at all, but they're out there. However, in terms of population size, they're not doing that well. We've seen so few of them that their population size is unknown. We only saw them in 1905 and then it took another 100 years to find them again. To add to that, it's the only species in both its genus and its broader family, making this one truly unique snake. Based on the fossil record, scientists think that it went off on its own path around the time of the dinosaurs wiped out. Blind snakes, including those of the Madagascar variety, are all burrowing creatures. They live either inside of wood or underground. The Madagascar blind snake feeds on termites and ants with a specialized eating apparatus. However, due to deforestation and grazing, their forest habitats are shrinking yearly. Researchers think that they live exclusively in an area that's about 10 square kilometers. Number three, armadillo lizard. The armadillo lizard is considered one of the rarest reptiles, not only in terms of its population, but also for its behavior and attributes. The armadillo lizard is aptly named for its armor-like exterior, which is very similar to that of an armadillo. If you look, you can see just how sharp and pointy these pieces of armor must be. Besides, whatever they're feeling threatened, they curl up just like an armadillo, because their underbellies are not guarded by the same armor. However, when these lizards curl up, they display a much more interesting look than other animals that exhibit similar behavior. Because of their slender frames, when they curl themselves up, they look like the mythical symbol of the Ouroboros, the snake eating its tail. That's what gives them their Latin name, Ouroboros cataphractus expialidocious. This defensive mechanism is pretty effective because every part of their body gets protected. This species is one of the few lizards that doesn't lay eggs. Even the female can feed her young, which is also very unusual for a lizard. They eat termites mostly, just like armadillos. But this is also their downfall. Since they rely so heavily on termite populations, when those populations are affected, so are armadillo lizards. Since they're so distinctive, humans often tried to capture them for trade. Once this was tempered down, however, the populations got back up to speed. If you ever meet this species, keep an eye out. It's quite likely that you'll come across 60 of your fellow lizards. Number 2. Madagascar Big-Headed Turtle Madagascar's big-headed turtle is currently considered to be the most endangered reptile alive today on Earth. Its name pretty much tells you all you need to know about it. It hails from Madagascar, which is a hub of biological diversity because of its long separation from mainland wildlife. And also, as its name makes clear, it has a really big head when compared to its body. These turtles eat mollusks and the remains of dead fauna. These turtles are as old as heck too. In fact, you might call them downright prehistoric. Their species extends back around 80 million years, which means that they were there when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. So this species represents a long line. It's sad to think that they might not be around for much longer. Imagine the stories we'd hear if they could tell us what the world was like back then. Over the 20th century, these big-headed turtles rapidly declined in their population numbers. People would often eat them, and their habitats are under severe stress due to deforestation and deterioration. These turtles tend to live in places that aren't guarded by conservation efforts. However, in recent years, people have started to try to breed them in captivity, and they've been closely watched. So hopefully, we can get this endangered species back off the ground soon. Number 1. Lonesome George In terms of rarity, one turtle stood above all the other reptiles on this list. Lonesome George. George was a Pinta Island tortoise, which was a heavily endangered species of tortoise. In fact, George was such a rarity that he is considered to be the last member of his entire species. Not only does that make him one of a kind, but he was the single rarest animal in the world for the last years of his life. Alas, Lonesome George died on June 24, 2012. For a great chunk of his life, he lived at the Tortoise Breeding and Rearing Center, located in Puerto Aura, Santa Cruz Island, inside of the Galapagos National Park. He was an old man who lived a long, full life. Officials think that he made it to nearly 102 years old. So when they entered his corral and found him lifeless, they were distraught. 
his death represented the end of the entire species. In the 1800s, Pinta Island tortoises were killed in large number because of Pinta Island's location as an entrance and exit point from the Galapagos Islands. There is one ray of hope, however. Researchers from Yale University recently discovered 17 hybrids from the species, which means that their Pinta Island parents might still be alive. We can't know for sure, but it would be a big win for conservationism if we were to be able to discover some more lonesome Georges. Number 10. Vomiting Water Pufferfish are famous for their ability to inflate and their somewhat slow and clumsy swimming style. There are about 120 different species of pufferfish, and since they are kind of slow, their only means to deter predators is to make themselves as big as possible. They don't do this by sucking in air, but by quickly ingesting huge amounts of water and turning themselves into a big ball that nobody is able to swallow. People familiar with pufferfish or that have seen them in an aquarium will start to notice that sometimes their pufferfish will squirt water at them. But why? Are they playing? Are they scared? Some people think it's a feeding response. They might squirt water in exchange for food. Both puffers and triggerfish will also blow water on their food with powerful jets that turn the food over. A famous meme came out with a pufferfish seeming to vomit water. On March the 6th, 2019, the website Tokyo Web published an article entitled Non-Toxic Pufferfish in Hot Spring Water. The article included a photograph of the fish spitting up spring water. It's hard to know what exactly was going on, but it's probably not good since the pufferfish has blown itself up and is now releasing water. Hopefully it's not going to get eaten. Pufferfish will also of course have to release the water at some point when they get caught so fishermen will hold them in their hands until they release the water, making a sort of vomiting sound. Number 9. Lazy Parent Cuckoo Birds it's time to meet the planet's laziest and perhaps most clever mother. She is of course the cuckoo bird, and she is probably one of the most creative parents alive. The phenomenon is known as brood parasitism, and basically it means the cuckoo bird is a parasite. You see, when the cuckoo bird is about to lay eggs, she goes in search of another nest to leave her eggs in. She has to go on scouting trips to find a nest of another species she knows will be a good parent for her baby birds. Once she targets a nest, there is basically nothing the surrogate parent can do to stop her. Cuckoo birds are incredibly well adapted to being brood parasites, and it works in this disturbing and creative way. When the cuckoo birds hatch in their step parent's nest, they do it a little bit earlier than the other eggs. This will make them stronger, louder, and bigger than their would-be siblings. Because the most demanding baby birds get fed more, they have a stronger chance of surviving. It can be hard for the mother birds to tell which of the tiny birds is hers, and so the cuckoo chicks will get treated the same as the other babies. In effect, the cuckoo bird's babies will be stronger than the other babies in the nest, so they will get fed more and the other babies will perish. It's a bird-eat-bird -bird world out there, and the cuckoo mother is not going to put another species' babies ahead of her own. Sometimes, the mother cuckoo bird will even poke holes in the eggs of the host's nest when she leaves her own, ensuring only her babies are the ones to be fed. Now that's a really sly and underhanded strategy, but the animal kingdom is a rough and wild place. Number 8. Backward Running Mole Rats Yes, mole rats are some of the most disgusting creatures on the planet. The naked mole rat looks like a failed lab experiment that lost all its hair. They have unsightly, wrinkly skin, yellow fangs and beady eyes that almost look villainous. However, these animals do some incredible and very strange things. Their evolutionary traits are absolutely amazing. Not only do they live their entire life underground without the need for much oxygen, but they even have excellent hygiene. Inside a mole rat's burrow, you will find an actual bathroom, which is something that you can't say for most animals. They dig a specific tunnel strictly for use as a toilet. If that's not hygienic for an animal, I don't know what is. Compare that to most other wild animals, who just go whenever and wherever nature calls. Additionally, naked mole rats can run backwards just as fast as they can run forwards. Imagine breaking into a full sprint completely backwards with the same raw speed you get when running forwards. It's simply unbelievable. For just one more strange habit of the naked mole rat, they can move their incisors independently of each other, just like a pair of chopsticks. Again, imagine being able to move your two front teeth individually and separately. And if those weird facts weren't enough, there's still one more. You might not believe it, but apparently they can barely feel pain. These critters are some of the toughest around, and they don't even react to being burned with acid. Could you imagine that kind of set of abilities? It seems almost superhuman. Which of the naked mole rat's talents would you most like to have? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Number 7. Vengeful Crows Crows have been harbingers of darkness for a very long time. 
There is nothing spookier than hearing a crow call in the dark of night while you're walking alone. And while ravens may be larger and more ominous than crows, crows have a very strange habit of seeking revenge on those who have done them wrong, making them far more terrifying than any other bird. This all has to do with the crow's exceptional memory. Crows can recognize a human face. That's right, it doesn't just know that you're a person, but it knows your face and who you are, and it probably even knows where you live. That's more than any government intelligence agency can say, and crows are significantly more likely to hold a grudge. They don't forgive or forget. If you have ever been rude to a crow perhaps, by throwing a rock at it or trying to kick it, the crow is going to remember you. The downside for you is that crows can communicate with other crows, and if the crow recognizes your face and perceives you as a threat, it will let the other crows know. It might even get other crows involved to heckle you in an attempt to make you leave the area. This could result in you basically being harassed by a murder of crows. Why do you think a group of crows is called a murder? Well, it's not for being nice and friendly, that's for sure. Number 6. Rock Eating Crocs Crocodiles like to eat rocks. Yes, it's a pretty strange habit. Rocks don't have any nutritional value, and they certainly don't get digested very easily. I certainly wouldn't eat any, and I hope you wouldn't either. There are not too many animals that would go out of their way to actually eat rocks, but while this is a strange behaviour for this prehistoric lizard, crocodiles don't eat rocks for the taste. They eat rocks because the stones help them with their basic digestion, according to research. By eating rocks, the crocodile will help crush and grate its food already in its stomach. Human stomachs don't work the same way, so don't try this at home. However, this strategy is especially good for crocodiles who eat very large meals, or animals with tough bones and shells, like turtles. The rocks help break everything down within the croc's stomach, so it can be easily digested. Plus, having rocks in the crocodile's stomach will make it feel full. At least that part makes sense. With a bunch of rocks clunking around in there, it's going to be a full belly no matter how much actual food makes it through. Though I would be worried about not getting enough nutrients if I were the crocodile. Number 5. Chickens and the T-Rex There are some unlikely cousins, but family is family. This one is a little less of a strange habit and more of a strange relationship. When you think about the infamous Tyrannosaurus Rex, who do you think its closest relative is? Is it the elephant? Is it the crocodile or the Komodo dragon? Perhaps a shark or an iguana? According to researchers who study genetics and evolution, the chemical structure found in proteins preserved inside the Tyrannosaurus Rex bone most closely resembles the chemical structure of a chicken. Basically, dinosaur DNA equals chicken DNA. The closest relative to a T-Rex is a modern day chicken. When you eat scrambled eggs for breakfast in the morning, you are eating the closest living thing we currently have to real life dinosaur eggs. This strengthens the long held theory the dinosaurs are the ancestors of birds, and that through the past 70 million years the ferocious Tyrannosaurus Rex has slowly evolved, and some of its descendants eventually did turn into the clueless clucker, the hungry and slightly obnoxious modern day chicken. And yes, this is based on real scientific studies published in real scientific journals. And yes, the actual science is a bit more complicated than a slow evolution. As different environmental conditions changed the world around the dinosaurs, some of their descendants gradually got smaller and smaller, gained feathers over scales, and started clucking instead of roaring. Now that's a family reunion I couldn't imagine going well, could you? Number 4. Vampire Butterflies There is nothing more peaceful than watching beautiful butterflies fluttering around the garden in the springtime. Butterflies are the very epitome of purity and kindness. Or are they? If you have never ventured into the darkest depths of the jungle, you have probably never seen the dark side of butterflies. While these vividly colourful insects are certainly appealing to look at, they are actually wild insects just like the rest of them. Some species of these fantastic creatures are also vampires. That's right, butterflies, like mosquitoes, will drink other animals' blood and not think twice about it. Of course, butterflies can't actually cut you open to drink your blood, but because of their nutrient needs, butterflies are greedy to suck up moisture anywhere they can get it. This includes the blood from your wound and the tears from your eyes. You may have never thought of it before, but your blood contains loads of minerals and nutrients that almost any living organism would be happy to eat. Butterflies are one of these organisms. Not only will they drink your blood, which is full of proteins, but they will even attempt to consume nutrients from feces. Disgusting, but there are nutrients everywhere, and animals who want to get at them. Number 3. Blind Platypuses Of course, you knew there was going to be some discussion of the weirdest animal wandering around today. And of course, it's the platypus. Platypuses are unquestionably strange animals. They are mammals, but they lay eggs. They look like beavers, but they're not, and they swim through the water like happy otters. Pictures of platypuses on the internet often make them look much bigger than they are, but in reality platypuses are only about the size of a house cat. They have dark brown fur, they are mostly waterproof, and they swim through the water with their eyes closed. You would think the platypus would keep its eyes open while swimming through the water so it could see where it was going, but it doesn't. It has a strange habit of submerging itself in water and then closing its eyes and ears while it swims around hunting. 
It actually uses its bill to hunt, since its bill has electroreceptors that can pick up small electrical signals sent by edible animals as they move around underwater. This allows the platypus to find worms and shrimps and eat them even while it swims around with its eyes squeezed shut. If the tale of the blind platypus feeling its way towards dinner doesn't make any sense to you, you're not alone. I thought this was baffling, but now I want a duck-billed platypus as a pet. Would you want one? Let me know in the comments section below. Number 2. The Assassin Bug The Assassin Bug is the coolest bug you have never heard of. With a name like that, it has to be doing something unique. This bug is half assassin, half mercenary, and 100% menacing. Not only does the Assassin Bug kill and eat its prey, but it stacks their corpses on its back and walks around with dozens of dead bugs stacked on its shoulders like some kind of gruesome trophy. Like an alien in a horror movie, first it impales its prey, then it eats them from the inside out, and lastly it attaches the hollowed corpses to its back. And while you would think even the notorious assassin bug would only need to carry a few corpses on its back to make its point, it actually piles an outstanding number of dead victims onto its back to scare away possible predators. There is no better armour than your own victims strapped to your body, and no better deterrent for potential enemies. This also serves as a sort of camouflage for the assassin bug. The assassin bug typically eats termites, ants, bees, and anything else it can sink its fangs into. But the weird behaviour of wearing its victims earns it a top place as one of the strangest and most rugged creatures on planet Earth. What do you think? Is this trophy hunter the toughest, most terrifying creature for its size? I think so, but leave a comment and let me know your opinion. Number 1. The Tongue Thief The Cymothoa exigua is a parasite that literally steals tongues. Not only does this parasite steal tongues, but it actually eats tongues and replaces them as itself. Does that sound unbelievable? The details are even stranger. Basically, this parasite will target a fish, infiltrate its gills, latch onto its tongue, consume the tongue, and then replace the fish's tongue with itself. This absolutely bizarre exchange goes on without the fish becoming aware of its victimhood, and it ends up leaving the fish with a fully functioning tongue. The parasite acts as the fish's tongue to grind food just like a normal tongue would. This is the only example of a species in the animal kingdom replacing the function of an organ. Think of it like if a parasite crawled into your body, ate your lungs, and then started to breathe air for you. It's absolutely bizarre. According to marine biologist Rick Brusker, the only fish that gets its tongue completely devoured and replaced as an organ that operates 100% is the rose snapper. The parasite does not steal other fish's tongues, draining their blood and replacing them, but the rose snapper gets the worst of it. I don't know whether to be more disgusted or impressed. Which of these animals deserves the title of strangest? Tell me in the comments below, and thank you for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another amazing video.